Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have two here. We have the Knight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. This could be somebody actively going after like a reward. This could be somebody actively building something or someone that has completely built something or put the required energy into building something. Something could be a complete structure or product here. Now we have the Knight of Swords here. Now, there could be somebody defending what they built. What is this here? And we have the King of Pentacles here. Yeah, this is definitely something that was built. That's weird. It's like there's someone defending what was built as if somebody didn't put the work in or something like that. Let me get something here. Yeah, somebody clearly put the work in. This was clearly and it's also like as if someone is like kind of saying this wasn't even your idea or this is not your work. This is not your words. This is it's Yeah. Let me get something here. We have the ten of wands here. Somebody definitely did a lot here. Let me get something with this ten of wands. This could be somebody that's really trying to come at somebody like they're really giving it. They're all trying to break somebody's uh, creation or product. Let me get something here. Now we have the seven of pentacles here. They're not seeing the results. It looks like they put some type of destructive like they it's something verbal, very destructive here. OK, but it's like they're not getting the results that they want. It's unsuccessful here. What they're trying to do is very unsuccessful. And they put their all into it. Look, confirmation. They put their all into this. We have the three of cups energy here. This could have been something trying to sway people away from you or trying to make people not trust in you or trying to change people's feelings towards you. It could be something about your soul family or the people that love you, friends, family, just connections in general. Somebody's not seeing the results. It's as if somebody is trying to get people to stop coming to your business. They're trying. So it's like they're so what they're doing is they're talking to people or telling people lies or they're just really throwing dirt on your name. But they're not seeing people not go to whatever it is that you do or you make. They have not seen the results of this. This is very unsuccessful and they're exhausted. King of Swords here. See, that's them right there. This could be an air sign. This could be a fire and an air sign I'm talking about. Wow. Then we got the High Priestess energy here. Wow. It looks like somebody. Okay. I almost want to say that there is an air sign that knows the truth. I really want to say that. And I want to say there's a fire sign that is attacking someone's creation or they're attacking something that was completed. So the fire sign is over here with this fire energy and the air sign is over here with this this air sign over here. King of sword over here. Let me get something with this high priestess. We have the world card. Now, it's possible that somebody could have learned their lessons and they're closing out a cycle here. It's also possible that this is what it, I feel like it's either a fire sign or an air sign that's doing this. Their plan was for people to like leave you alone or walk away from you or be done with you or something like that. What's this at the bottom? We have the eight of Pentacles, but somebody's work is too good. Somebody's work is too good. Like imagine somebody telling you 
not to go to like your favorite place to get lotion or some something like that i don't know or your favorite place to get food and they'll tell you all these things they'll say oh they got rats they got roaches they got everything but it's like the place looks like immaculate and clean and people are on time and on point and the food is hot or the product is really good or it got the you know what i'm talking about it's like you it's someone here that has not found no evidence and the king of sword is pretty smart and even the knight of sword and that's why i'm feeling like this is somebody that maybe they're smart enough to know that like no something is well built or something is well because this is a king of pentacles this is somebody that's making a lot of money or this is somebody that's well off or they have a lot of things or items or is something here this person was unsuccessful in getting people to turn away from you or close out cycles with you or something like that you got a lot it's like a lot going on the three of pentacles is in between the knight of wands and the knight of sword like damn what is this we got the eight of cups here i told you they put and this is clarifying the ten of wands that's them putting a lot of work into getting people to walk away to getting people to think that your quality of work is not good let me get something up king of sword out here but that's too many cards we got the king of sword again so they were trying to get the king of sword to walk away they probably did walk away and then they learned the truth high priestess they probably knew the truth after they walked away or anybody that walked away they learned the truth here whatever this seven of pentacles they're not successful with that and that's how they wanted you to look and that's why they're over here in the nine of swords energy like there's somebody here that may have walked away this could be the air sign the nine of sword it could be the air sign that walked away and they feel bad about it they feel crazy about it but now they know the truth because the high priestess is here or this could be about a high priestess now they know the truth but it could be too late because they abandoned somebody so it's too late to defend somebody let me get something here with this seven of pentacles here yeah they wanted you to be unsuccessful here yep ace of sword but that's how they're looking whatever they said or whatever they tried to do that's how they're looking and this air sign knows exactly what this fire sign tried to do they can see the truth now and they can see that it was unsuccessful look king of wands this is what they said i'm telling you it was a fire sign up here is knight of wands that's because they're asserting themselves but right here is just them sitting on their throne that's what they said this king of wands is right here with this ace of sword they were trying to get people to stop investing in you look three of sword three of sword right here after the king of wands and it's falling on top of the three of cups they were trying to tarnish your name in this group or with these people or your community, your friends. They put a lot of energy into this judgment right there. They put a lot of energy into this and they're going to have to pay for that. People are waking up to the truth here. The truth might be really ugly, but people are still waking up to it. This person was not up. Oh, we got the star in reverse, but there's so many other cards here. I can't even look at them, but the star in reverse. This person is a want to be chosen one. This person is not real. They want to look like they're real. Look, Empress in reverse. They want to look like they're real, but they're really not. They're actually very damaging and they probably suck the energy from other people. This person doesn't want you to shine. They don't want you to seem special. They don't want you to outshine them because they're like a king of wands. So they're saying whatever they got to say to make it look like something's wrong with you. So people walk away from you. But that's not what's going on, actually. Actually, the opposite is happening. People are waking up to their bullshit. Everything they're trying to put on you is going back on them here. We have the King of Cups energy here. See, and this is falling right on top of this King of Swords. King of Cups, King of Swords. Somebody really was connected to you or really cared about you. Okay, or they really loved you. Like they really believed you or believe in you or believe in whatever it is that you do or whatever it is you produce. Let me get something with this King of Cups. This is so crazy, though. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, my goodness here. Let me get something with this Ten of Pentacles. They know the truth here. They could even be looking at you like a, a King of Cups. 
they could be looking at you like you have a big heart, okay? Or that you're very giving with your heart or giving with your items or money or something like that. They could be looking at you like that. Like someone is very abundant, extremely abundant. In many ways, we have the six of wands here falling on top of the high priestess. If this is a high priestess, this is somebody that has been vindicated. Whatever this is, the truth is known here. Something is standing out. Out of all the wands, it's that one with the reef right there that's seen the most or that's seen best. Or it's it's uh, outshining or it's standing out among the others or something like that. Let me get something here. And then we have the wheel of fortune. Wow, this is something interesting. It could be leading to like great opportunities or something like that. Six of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. That's like somebody having a promising future or something like that. And it was somebody here trying to tarnish it. Let me get something with this world card. Damn, we have the Five of Swords here. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's a cycle that's closing out. And I think it's a problem here. Oh, my goodness. I really feel like somebody was pushed or bribed into walking away from you. And they did. And they're feeling cr and other people also. It's other people. But there's like a main character here. And this main character, they really was the one that made the biggest mistake. Other people are waking up. But this person, they made a horrible mistake here. Abandoning somebody like this person feels really stupid right now. Perhaps for listening to somebody's lies. Like, that's so silly. Let me get something with this Five of Sword here. It's like now they want to defend you after they abandon you. And now we have the Ten of Cups here. Yep. It's some, It's like, man, and we have the Moon card here at the bottom. Moon card here. What was that that stuck out? Oh, Page of Pentacles. We got the Moon card here. And it's on top of the Eight of Pentacles here. I just don't feel like they can express something or they're not going to be able to express something. They're going to keep something to themselves. It's like they're not admitting something. They don't want to look at something. It's something about the shadow here. Something about the shadow. Hmm. Let me get something here. It's like a fear. Like there also could be somebody that fears your work. They fear what you do. Or they're just very like... It makes them feel some type of way. Your work makes them feel some type of way. And there's somebody that wants to break you down for that. Maybe they don't like you for that. Maybe they want to label it bad or maybe evil or some shit. It's like they have fears associated with it. But it's like they just have bad intentions trying to break you down, trying to get people to go against you. You have the Knight of Cups here. There may be somebody that, you know, they want to apologize or they want to bring you roses or they want to just charm their way back in after abandoning you or something like that. You may have cared about them. They may have cared about you, but they listen. You see, Eight of Cups, they listen to somebody's bullshit. They listen to the lies and they walked away. They abandoned. You see, the fire is still lit in the damn thing. They abandon it. They abandon it. And they feel crazy as hell. And then we have the three of wands energy here. Somebody really wants to come back. Or it's like they have a newfound like desire to come towards you or something like that. This is so crazy. They have fears associated with what you do or whatever it is that you're very skilled at. There's something they will not tell you. They will not say. They will not admit. They will not share. They will not open up. Like you will not be able to get this out of them. And they may be part of the people that are being judged. Even though people are waking up. It's something about what this person did that was like. This shit was way beyond what other people did. We have the Page of Wands energy here. This may be somebody that tries to return to you after they're free or something like that. Like after they feel free, they may try to come back in your energy. Like this may be somebody that is controlled by somebody else. Or they're controlled by somebody else's opinions or thoughts. 
Like it's like they don't feel they feel like maybe they're under a spell or a curse or something like that. Or maybe they don't even know. Maybe they are. And that's why they got to go through judgment. We have the chariot energy. I feel like this is somebody that wants to be cool with you when they become free. Whatever the hell that means. This is somebody that could be defending you or defending you in some type of way after abandoning you. And it's like they want to come back. So it's like that's their way of like maybe setting the scene or setting something up. Like being sure that they want to come towards you. But they, that might not be enough for somebody after all of that. Let me get something with the chariot energy here. We have the three of swords here. Yeah, they're going to be very disappointed if they try to come near you. They're going to be very disappointed. This person really knows. And then you have the seven of cups at the bottom here. <sighs> this person doesn't really know what to do here. Like they could really be up in the air, not able to see through the illusion or not be able to see through, not being able to see through to get to your heart or to come back in your energy. This is somebody that's very confused, very up in the air. Let me get something here. Wow, they abandoned somebody that they loved. Transformation here, you could have transformed here. You could have transformed after they walked away. Or after they abandoned you, that's what it looked like. It looked like somebody told them to do this. It says affluence. You could have walked in a lot of abundance. There could be a lot of abundance around somebody. Somebody could have protection all around them. And it says karmic path here. We have Saturn energy. Somebody could have really learned their lesson. This is also given the world card. We have new moon at the bottom here. There could be something significant about the next new moon or a new moon in general, like planting new seeds or something like that. You could be planting new seeds. It looks like somebody is very blessed here because somebody learned their lesson. Yeah, karmic path. Number 19 could be significant. Number five, number eight and number 45. Number nine also. Didn't I say number nine? I said 19. Hmm. Let me get this one. This person chose their own path here. Even if things were not clear, they chose their own path. You make your own decisions. Nobody chooses for you. Nobody makes you do anything. You do things because you want to or you feel like you're forced to. But that's so if you f nobody forces nobody to do shit, you don't have to do nothing. OK, we have the six of wands energy here. Like I said, this is somebody that's standing out. It's something about maturity. It's something about growing up. It's something about being grown. Okay. And learning the lessons, learning their limits. Because that's what these rings are on Saturn. Somebody could be learning their limits here. Let me get something here with this six of wands. Somebody could also be the victor, the winner. We also have Knight of Swords once again. I don't even know how many times we got the Knight of Sword, the King of Sword. Like they're really out here. Somebody could be actually saying how successful you are, how you're standing out, how you're doing good, how you're looking good. Somebody could really have changed their mind about what somebody told them, what somebody told them to do, how somebody may have told them to walk away. There, it looks like they're defending, like something can't be denied. It's just, it's just true. Like they're following the signs or something like that. And it's like leading back to you for some reason. Let me get something here with this Knight of Sword. And then we have the Two of Sword. And that's what I'm saying. Like, what is this at the bottom? We have the Empress energy here. I honestly don't think this person is doing this in front of you. I don't think this is being done like this could be being this could be being done behind your back or this is something where they're actually not saying this. They're not saying like they notice that you're successful, but they're not saying anything. It could be somebody that is just feeling 
the truth and they're not really asserting it. Like how I've been saying this whole time, oh, somebody could be defending you. Oh, somebody could, re you know, really what it is, is what I feel. I think that this person knows the truth, but they're not asserting shit. They just know it. They just know the truth. They're not able to say something. They're not able to express something. There's fears associated with this, even though they know the truth. And that is so crazy. And it could be that you are an empress here. That's really what it could be. Mm -mm -mm. Let me get an angel message here. This is so crazy. This person was confused. This person was very confused and they believed some bullshit. It says healing energy here and it says expect miracles. Yeah, closing out this cycle with this person, it was meant to happen like that. It was literally meant to happen like that. This person literally should have followed their heart instead of following what somebody told them or what somebody said. I'm going to leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.